Lately, I've been getting a lot of interest in the master plan community of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. People keep asking me questions like, what do those lots look like? What are the terrain? And you know what? Sometimes the best you can do is go for a ride, a realtor ride. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my tour. We're gonna start off with getting to know a little bit about the area. I am currently on loop, the south part of loop 337. Uh, up in front of me is where I-35 is. But the reason I'm starting this location is right down this road here to my left takes you to the famous Landa Park. And I've already done a video tour of Landa Park. Great place to have a picnic, spend the day with a the family. They do have a really nice golf course there for you golfers. And uh, just a wonderful way to spend the day. We're going to head up to Highway 46 after we pass the uh, New Braunfels High School. They are the only high school I know of whose mascot is the Fighting Unicorns. So if you know of any other high schools that have the uh, unicorn as their mascot, feel free to leave those in their comments. get through this traffic here but this community here to my right is Veramindi I have shot several videos of the homes of Veramindi that's another master plan community that's just getting started in the New Braunfels area so if you really want to be real close to downtown New Braunfels that's a great spot to be at well, there's the New Braunfels Fighting Unicorn Stadium. I mean, we do have Natural Bridge Caverns. It's a fun tourist place to go to right off 3009. It's a really nice caverns. I like it a lot. But I want to do this video just so you can see what's convenient in the area. Vintage Oaks is about a seven and a half, eight mile drive from where I am at now, but I don't, and I'm not gonna video the whole way. It's beautiful Texas hill country, but y'all don't need to see the whole eight miles. But I do want to let you know where the closest grocery store is, which is at HEB right in front of me. You can almost see up in front of me there, uh, Longhorn Cafes has some really good burger joint. Of course, you got your Chick-fil-A, Whataburger, Texas Staples. So you got all of your urban sprawl that you'd want right here at your fingertips. If you have elementary kids and living at uh, Vintage Oaks, they would be going to Veramindi Elementary School, which is right over here to my right. Which, once you see a little bit of this drive, uh, you'll see it's like, okay, eight miles through the Texas Hill Country. It's actually kind of relaxing. And no traffic jams on this road because you'll be in off the main highways and uh, another interesting fact is 46 will go all the way to the 281 area. So uh, from Vintage Oaks, I believe it's like a 13 minute drive through some of the most beautiful countryside you will have in the state of Texas. Let's see what our gas prices in Texas are right now. Showing 189. So for you Californians who are sick and tired of being taxed to death, uh, we're only paying 189 for a gallon as of August 2020. Late August as it is. It is a little warm today because yeah, it's August in Texas. But as I always tell people, mid-September. We have our first cool front that comes through and we'll be down in the 80s, which is awesome. Well, for me it is. 
I like the 80s and 70s. All right, so you got your dentals, your hair salons, your donut shops, more nail salons. Good God, we have a lot of nail salons here. All right, I'm going to show you a sneak peek a little bit. Well, more another really nice burger joint up here. Burgers, wings, and beers. I ate there. It's like, oh, that was a delicious burger. All right, I'm going to pause the video for a little bit, and I'll pick up when we're about one mile away from Vintage Oaks because there's really not much else to see for a little while. All right, this is Copper Ridge. That's a really nice upscale community. I shot a video of their Ashton Woods home. But I want to show you a little bit of this commute so you can see what it's like. So eight miles of this, well, <laughs> it's kind of enjoyable. But we are about one mile away from Vintage Oaks. As you can see, the billboards are starting to pop up advertising the communities. say so you see why I cut this off a little bit because I'm like there's only so much of this you would want to watch and I want you guys to stick around for the tour of this beautiful community that I got coming up now be warned it might be a little long vintage oaks is huge but we're gonna start off in the Grove district uh, of it there's three different segments of vintage oaks we're gonna start off in the Grove and uh, it's we should start seeing some of the housing for the Grove it's uh, right there through the tree line there. The Grove at Vintage Oaks. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the master plan community of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. What we have in front of us here is the fitness center. We just entered the Grove section of Vintage Oaks. This fitness center, I did a video tour in my amenities tour program, has the gym and a lap pool, yoga area, it's really nice. This area here is gonna be the model homes. You have the Scott Felder model home, the Perry two model homes right there, and then you have the Monticello model home. All three of which I have done video tours of. Make sure you check those out. Alright, but this is about getting to know what this area looks like. If I don't stall out my bike. Alright. Like I said, there's the fitness center. This section is the Grove. You do have beautiful walking trails that you can see right here that go intertwined throughout this whole community. Here's a beautiful home being built by Perry right there on the corner. Looks like it's gonna have a big lot. No trees in the backyard right there. But you can see some of the landscapes out here um pay attention to the distance in between these lots there are a little more distance on these homes than uh you will find in a regular community i mean eh, fairly decent but it's, they're also not the straight grid boring roads here 
they're hilly they're curvy and windy oh look at that beautiful home that's a Perry home for sure there's the Scott Felder home another Monticello home there for sale right now and I have people who just purchased one of some of my clients just purchased this house here it's a Monticello home they close on it this this week all right this green area here is the zip forms both uh, Perry and Oh, sorry, both Scott Felder and Monticello use the zip techniques. I really like that style of building. Beautiful three-car garage home right there. A lot of construction going on. I was just talking to sales rep and she said, uh, made a joke that I, it's really applicable for right now. Remember when COVID first started and everybody started hoarding toilet paper? Well, that's kind of the way it is in, for Texas housing right now. People are just buying them up left and right. It's like we're not gonna keep making any houses after COVID's over, but we will. But man, are we in a crazy stage right now as of late August, 2020. Beautiful homes here for my clients in Germany. Uh, the second house here is one that uh, you'd mark that you might be interested in. So take a good long look at that one. That does back up to man. It's gonna be a nice view back there. It overlooks where those model homes are, and this is the other Perry home that you've mentioned you were interested in. I will be coming back to do some more detailed video tours of those homes for my clients because, hey, that's just what I do. All right, let's continue on with the tour. Now, this section here, I don't remember if I mentioned before, is divided in three different sections. This place is huge, but we're in the Grove section right now. If you're not wanting a huge lot, this is a great place to be at. But if you're looking, the rest of the uh, areas have a minimum of one acre requirement. And this community is on a, it's all on septic system too, so be aware of that. Now you can build with any builder in this community uh, that we're going into now. The Grove is just all Scott Felder, Perry, and Monticello. But in, once we enter into this section here, you can bring your own builder in. They do have a land office here where you can purchase the land separately. From what I've been told, if it, you're getting just one acre, you're looking at about $100,000 for one acre. And then maybe another twenty dollars to $30,000 to get the septic put in. So just be aware of that in your cost if you're trying to do a build on your own lot out here. But a lot of people are doing a build on your lots because it's just beautiful. They do have quite a few custom builders already out here. Um, so I'm going to start doing more sections trying to get to know the custom builders that do build out here. And I'm going to do my damnedest not to get lost. Because these sections just go on and on and they twist and turn. I have seen a couple properties on MLS right now where the asking price is about $550 to get into one of these houses. That's the lowest I've seen, uh, maybe $540 or so. But, uh, 
it all depends on how old the house is because this community has been out here for a little while you can find some uh, houses that were built in 2015 and stuff All right, we're going to take the long way around to the main amenity center. Now, some of the houses we see, they're going to be considerably more than the $550,000, $600,000 houses because, like I said, you can get a lot out here and build whatever you... Well, there are minimum requirements. They're not going to let you build a 1,800 square foot house. But... Look at these houses. My kiddo, she came out and swam in the lazy river a couple weeks ago uh, because I got invited with my buyers of the house I mentioned earlier and oh my gosh that's all my kiddos talking about is like daddy when are we gonna come back out here to go play in the lazy river and we're, we're gonna try to soon enough but they like I said if you haven't seen my mini just tour make sure you check them out because the HOA fees are I believe just under $700 per year that's not a quarter per year and uh, to get access to your own gym, a lap, a, a, one of the biggest lazy river I've seen in this town. But look at these views out there, man. And hey, there it's available. I've never gone this route before. I just kind of looked on the map and thought, hey, that looks like kind of where I want to go. So I'm exploring right along you guys. I'm hoping this is the turn I'm looking for, and it is. Sweet. Whoa, almost dipped, dumped it there. So I'm trying to worry about footage instead of the uh, fundamentals of riding a motorcycle. All right, because as you can see, this community is really big. They're not going to run out of lots anytime soon. But I did just talk to the uh, Perry Builder rep, and they do plan to have a price increase come uh, 1 September if for building in the Grove. So it, it's all about supply and demand, guys. Um, the demand for moving to Texas is at an all-time high. Um, based on what's going on in the rest of the country right now and it's not going on in Texas. So yeah, everybody's trying to move here. And I don't quite blame them. I love living here. And if you're trying to get out of a high density population area, well, this is kind of it right here. You got everything you want. You saw the drive coming up here. It's about eight miles through the beautiful Texas Hill Country. That gets you to shopping. Uh, now, do we have a Neiman Marcus next real close? No, that, you're gonna have to drive a little further for that. But uh, we are fairly close to the uh, San Marcos Outlet Malls. That's probably about another 15 minutes up I-35 towards Austin. But man, I, I actually wanna live out here. This'd be great. I've got to keep marketing uh, like this, show off communities, and hopefully I get more clients. Maybe in a couple years I'll be able to uh, get out here. But if you guys have already been making the right choices throughout your life and ready to slow down in a beautiful community, hey, this is right here for you. Beautiful scenery right out there. And we're kind of out on the outskirts of this community right here. We're going around. Man, that's beautiful.
Ah, they went with those Spanish tiles on the house. Another reason I'm thinking about moving out here is for the networking aspect. I mean, shoot, if I buy something uh, in the low fours in the Grove, I can still be networking with people who are living in uh, $800,000 homes. And that's not a bad gig. There's a Facebook page with groups with similar interest in it. Uh, this community is so big and really kind of self-contained that if you're wanting to network with folks or join different groups who have similar interests to, uh, there's probably a group for you that's in this community where you can just get on your golf cart and go to your friend's house and go uh, do whatever activities you like to do. I don't know about you guys, but I'm enjoying this ride. Man, it's beautiful. It's hot, but it's beautiful. Right now we're in the middle of a little mini heat wave, uh, late August 2020. We've got two, maybe three weeks left before our traditional first semi-cool front comes through where we have a high of only 89. And then from there on, then it starts creeping down into the mid 80s and then uh, as October gets in, then we start getting the highs of se high 70s. November, we were looking at low 70s and then we kind of hit stall out and we stick around in around 65, 70 degrees throughout the winter. We do have our cold fronts come through during winters where it gets down to uh, in the 40s and oh my gosh, I, like I said, if y'all don't haven't watched my videos on prior military, I've lived everywhere. This place freaks out when it gets into 40 degrees. I love it. It's just hilarious. But then three days later, you're back in the 60s again. All right, here's uh, looks like yes, I missed the uh, shot to get a thing for the soccer courts, but you got basketball courts, tennis courts. We're getting close to the main amenity center here. All right, this right in front of us is the main amenity center. I did a very good video. If I tap, pat myself on the back, I thought it turned out great. We'll just do a quick drive by here. Mentioning the golf carts. There's a lot of golf carts in this community. But yeah, that's the main amenity center that has the uh, clubhouse area there. You see some people hanging out big big beautiful pool and their lazy river is really nice and they do allow adult beverages in there no glass of course but uh and the day i came out here that was really nice to be just sipping on a coldie while floating around the lazy river and everybody else just chill and relaxed and doing the same thing i was like man this is the life i want to live We're not going to go back the same way we came in. We're going to go back to the... But this way, I do know how to get out of here. Basically, from the third entrance, you stay on the main road, and uh, it gets you all the way to the community, the uh, amenity center there. This is the road we came down. This way, we're going to go out. Man, I like that style.
trying to see the house I did a video tour of that's under construction. I believe the asking price was about five fifty. I know it's it's up here this first turn. This is gonna be a beautiful house, a three-car garage house. it was down there but I don't see it but look at these views out here turn right out of the corner of my eyes not that easy but man that's beautiful up some more lots available Oh, I bet these guys have a great view from the front of their house. I love coming over this ridge and just seeing all this. I can see one of the towers from the front of the community in front of us there. You do have a nice little breeze that's up here too. And a word of caution, if you're buying a house in Texas, pay attention to what direction the house faces. During the summertime, you really want the sun rise, well, sun rising on the back of your house and setting on the front because you want to use your house as that shade on your back porch. I know I've been known to uh, sip on a little whiskey on my back porch and have it, I currently have my house where the sun is coming right down on the, my back porch at night. At the same time, I want to be sipping on a glass of whiskey and it's like, whoo, that's baking me. So be aware of what direction you're having your house face if you are building. So uh, make sure that uh, you get some shade on your back porch. Now I mentioned earlier in this video that there are some custom home builders that are out here. Here they are um, from the third gate. And if you want to get to know some of these guys, please reach out to me. I've got to build some relationships with a couple of them. Uh, but yeah, you've got some beautiful custom builders and they can build these homes anywhere in the area. I know they're gonna show off on these houses. These are gonna be over million dollar homes because they're the models. They're trying to, and they're the models that they use to showcase what they can do anywhere in the area. Whitestone, I've done a model home of the Whitestone house that I kept saying the wrong name. Weston Dean, they're a pretty good builder. But you don't have to use any of those particular builders. If you've got your own builder, all you gotta do is go to the land office here, pick your lot, and then have your builder come in and start building. All right, there's traffic, so that means we're gonna be up at the Highway 46, so not too bad. Let me do my little wrap-up video right here, and I'll sign off. GoPro, stop recording. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that ride. I know I sure did. One thing I forgot to mention is if you live in this community, you do have a choice of what high school you want to go to. I mentioned earlier about the New Braunfels Fighting Unicorn High School, but you also have the option to go to the uh, really high-rated Smith and Valley High School. So keep that in mind. I hope this video answered any questions you might have about the community. If it hasn't, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is going to be on the final screen. And uh, as always, 
like and subscribe and share these videos all right talk to you soon take care now